months old. This is your baby brother. Give him a kiss. Like any family, the Whitakers are elated with their new baby. He'll be cherished for his own sake, but he's more to them than that. He could cure his brother. The two are blood brothers like no others before because Jamie's blood could save Charlie's life. For now, though, the focus is all on the new arrival. Did you tell everybody at school that your mummy was having a baby today? Actually, I mean, my teacher. And what did Miss Woodcock say? Wow. <laughs> Jamie was born in Sheffield early Monday morning by caesarean section, a moment of medical history. The Whitakers had always wanted another child, but they also wanted a baby who could help Charlie. One, two, two. And this is why. Charlie has a rare blood disorder. Every night he has painful injections to keep him alive and a blood transfusion every three weeks. Off you run. Nonetheless, Michelle told me he's unstoppable and nothing gets him down. What Charlie needs is a <laughs> transplant of cells from a perfect match to allow him to lead a normal life. Days before the birth, his parents told me what they were hoping for. This baby's fine, that there's nothing wrong with it, that Charlie gets his transplant and we can be a normal, happy family. That's what I'm looking forward to, future. Mm. I can see light at the end of the tunnel now, whereas this time last year I couldn't. I don't want anything special. No. Don't, don't want anything special, we just want normal. You know, normal is great. People have got normal, don't realise how good normal is uh, until you haven't got it. Charlie says his new brother Jamie has a gift for him, special blood which could mean an end to all the injections and transfusions. Bye. See you later. Come on then. But he also knows that he's going to have to wait until next year for that all-important transplant which could transform his life. And this is what will do it, the blood from Jamie's umbilical cord Normally it's just thrown away, but when Jamie was delivered, it was carefully collected. It's full of stem cells, which can be used to regenerate Charlie's bone marrow. It'll be stored in a freezer until needed, and there's a 95% chance the transplant will work. I just hope that this will bring hope to everybody else in the same situation, and uh, maybe in a year or two down the line, we will be looking at a standard procedure rather than something that we have to challenge and go to court to try and make it happen. Everyone's hoping that by this time next year, Charlie will have had his transplant, and the Whitaker family's long journey